What's up guys? Spiderbot here. Got a trophy achievement guide for you today for Call of Duty Ghosts. This one's Safeguard. Complete round 20 in Safeguard. Now, I'm not starting on round 1. I'm starting here on uh, round 15. If you saw my first gameplay on Safeguard, it's uh, a four-person co-op or solo. I mean, you play it, you know, one player, two player, three player, four player, I believe. It's under the squads menu, all right? And um, it's it's basically very, very similar I can't remember, was it, I don't know, what the freak game had uh, the survival? I know Modern Warfare 3, what, they had the, uh, that insane survival where you just had to keep running and running. It's, it's very much like the cranked um, uh, multiplayer mode, right? Where you just got to keep running and running and if, and if you slow down or if you don't get uh, a kill or a pickup or whatever in a certain period of time, then, then the game just ends. Um, the other thing, though, you could pick yourself up. Like, if you got downed, if you're playing solo... If you got down, you can uh, revive yourself, basically, with uh, just killing one one of the enemies, right? We well, can't do that here in Safeguard. So it's very similar to, to that survival game mode, um, except that it's different. <laughs> uh, you get drops, as you can see. You get uh, weapon power-ups. I'm on, I'm on, like, level 13 for this weapon. You get uh, supply drops every few rounds. Like, the very first round, you get all these... these, uh, these uh, kill streak packages that uh, that come down and I'm not even going for them because I already have three right so <laughs> as soon as you start off you get all these things and then every few rounds like I think round five or six and then like every five rounds approximately uh, you get those drops and you can refill your kill streak reward slots and you see on the right hand side I have them right um, what I found obviously running solo is that uh, I got you know I gotta find a place to defend if I'm out in the open, I'd probably pick the the not necessarily the best map for this, uh, for completing beyond round 20, and it has to be finishing round 20, so you have to get past it. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty open map, and uh, this is probably one of the best spots that I've found for uh, defending, at least from a, a solo perspective. And this shotgun, this F, it's a FP6, I believe, is spectacular, spectacular. All right, so. You do have one opportunity when you're playing this solo to uh, get revived. You can call in a squad mate here, and uh, he'll come and revive you. Uh, but he doesn't last forever, okay? He doesn't last forever. He doesn't just come in, revive you, and then leave. He just stays with you. It's like having, you know, having this AI player with you. Um, although, when he dies, if he... Uh, and I'm not sure if it's based on total damage that he takes, or if he just gets down like I did... Uh, by taking uh, a significant amount of damage in a short period of time, then he disappears and he's gone. And if you get if you get downed again, the game's over. That's it. So uh, yeah, my two favorite guns, I think, I think so far from what I've seen in the campaign in Extinction Mode, uh, as well as here on uh, Safeguard, uh, is this uh, this LMG and the F it's the FP6, I believe, the shotgun. The shotgun is freaking awesome. I mean. Especially when you're leveling up that that gun and I end up uh, I think I made it to like round 23 or something like that Before I got downed and uh, it was right after my buddy disappeared All right, so what you want to do because you get the drops every five or so rounds you want to use them I try to use uh, I try to survive, you know, maybe a round or two before using them and then I try to use one per round. Uh, there are some kill streak rewards that they give you that are uh, controllable. One, um, I think, it is a, uh, a scout chopper, or whatever, where you actually they, it actually pulls you into the chopper and you're a sniper. I don't really like those ones. Um, I mean, that one's not even that bad. It drops you off wherever, um, like once that kill streak is over with, that uh, that reward is over with because it's time based. It drops you off where the chopper is sort of hovering at the time. Um, the other one, though, there there are a couple others I think that uh, are fully controllable. Where you know you're opening up your laptop and you're vulnerable on the ground and you're controlling, you know, like a a, a missile coming down to uh, to fire upon, rain fire upon your enemies, right? Problem is, you're totally vulnerable, especially especially when you're playing uh, a solo. You're totally vulnerable, so those kill streak rewards, you definitely don't want to pick those things up. And you just see how effective the shotgun is. I mean, it's insane. It's it's totally. I know. I don't like calling things OP, but it's OP. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
Uh, especially when I have the, um, like, another player with me. And I'm going to tell you right now, by far, it's going to be easier to do this when you're playing with other players, okay? Versus solo. I mean, solo, you can do it. And I did, I did it solo. But it's going to be far easier with two to four players. And you can see that. Especially with the, uh, the ride shield guys. Uh, right there, I threw down my uh, IEDs. I think they're IEDs. Uh, I threw them down before I resupplied because I'm getting two more. I basically just refilled, right? So I may as well use them. Um, one thing that I did set, and unfortunately I don't really like it, but it's pretty much going to be the norm anyway on this game mode, is uh, you can set your player health, like your max health, to double and your health regen to uh, fast instead of normal and normal. So I just suggest you do that anytime you play, just because, again, uh, I haven't really been online, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the leaderboards are probably going to be full of people that, you know, have um, double health and have fast health regen. So that's what I did here in order to make it to, uh, to round uh, 20. And this, this freaking thing, this uh, death machine of God is absolutely fantastic. I mean, we've... <laughs> well, I think we would we start at weapon level one or two or something like that. I think I, had, uh, I don't know if this is my first one that I've had or the second one, but uh, absolutely insane. So as you uh, as you grab those uh, those drops and as you use your weapons, um, it upgrades the level of those weapons just for the weapons that you have. It doesn't upgrade them across the board. So you, so you have you know your weapon proficiency level doesn't upgrade for every single weapon. It's just those weapons that you pick up the drops. Uh, while you have that weapon equipped so and that's why my shotgun is so effective at this stage of the game so here we are at round 20 and again the idea is to make it past round 20 so i'm gonna throw down the ieds and uh the ieds are awesome um absolutely love them i don't know <laughs> i don't know if they're gonna be um overpowered in multiplayer or not but uh they're they're pretty useful here in uh here in survival or in uh, safeguard sorry it's not survival safeguard i don't know why they renamed it but yeah that's my new favorite gun man you're gonna see a lot of me a lot of uh gameplay with me using that shotgun right there it's absolutely beautiful and uh, you can see look at the ride shield guys like no problem if if that if my my buddy wasn't there the ride shield would be facing towards me and, and it becomes a bigger problem to try and uh you know obviously i can i can come up there on the stairs in the top level and try and get in from behind but uh, it's so much easier when i have uh when i have that guy up there and he's not taking any damage really like they're all focused on him as they're coming up the stairs and it's perfect for me to uh make it past round 20 here and uh get our trophy our safeguard trophy so you see it pop up here very very shortly um <clears throat> There you are. Safeguard, safeguard. And remember, the uh, those drops, you can re-roll them, okay? Uh, not these ones. I mean, the, we're picking up our killstreak rewards, right? But the uh, the ammo drops or whatever, it'll drop a weapon or a perk, right? Well, if you already have the weapon or you don't want... You, you have your weapon set, which I did. Um, you can double tap the square. It'll re-roll to another weapon or, or another perk. And then if you double tap square again, it'll re-roll to an ammo regen. So... I suggest, you know, again, use your IEDs, use your equipment, uh, set those IEDs down in place before you uh, pick up the ammo refill. All right. So uh, we'll have we'll have some more. I'm sure we're going to uh, post some gameplay on Safeguard once we uh, get up to uh, two to four players and uh, we'll follow up with you then. Hope uh, you enjoyed and hope it helps you guys uh, get that achievement. Safeguard complete round 20 in Safeguard. Go figure. Spider out.